video will be about the load ZPB 30A1 version 2.8. It can also be used to see how healthy your batteries are. And that's what I want to do now. To power this up, I need a power supply. It takes between 11 and 14 volts. I'm going to put in 12 volts. Then you will hear the coolers turn on. And then you can start the settings. You have an option. So for example, if I turn it off, I think you press the run button. And now you have uh, two modes. The fun mode, the fun mode 1 and the fun mode 2. The fun mode 1 is just a regular load. I'm going to test the battery, so I'm, I'm going to use fun 2. Select it. If you take 1 volt. Oh, you can go up to 10 amps then. And then you can check where it drops off. At 5, 6, 7. At 7 volts you can... I oh, 6 at 10 amps is 60 watts. It can discharge at 60 watts. We are at 7 volts. And I want to cut off at 6.4. I'm still at 3.5 per cell. Let's go to 8. Just to check what the voltage drop is. 6.8. 6.8. And the heat is building really fast. 74 degrees. 77. I'm pushing that wire. I need to go back to 6. Now we're under 7 volts. Barely. This is the maximum. 6.6 volts. Really pushing this wire. Seventy eighty eighty degrees seventy nine and a half eighty point seven eighty one eighty two let's lower it this is crazy fun to play with the voltage is now at six point eight two at seven amps 6.82, let's turn it down to 1 and or 2, let's say 2. It jumps almost 0 0.4 volts. Zero, it's almost half a volt. Seven point three five. Man, that's a difference. When I'm at 6.5 amps, I'm dropped to 6.9, let's say. 450 millivolts. That's almost half a volt. It's the first cell is three five four one. This alarm is sounding at uh, three point five. 
3.51 something. But now the voltage is dropping quite dramatically. I want to stop at 3.4. These are nicely balanced. The difference is 0 0.025 volts, 25 uh, milliamps. That's really close together. Eh? Even 11 milliamps. I reached the cutoff point, and it's 3.7 amp hours. Two hours later. Okay, I've charged these batteries again, and I got uh, 5,290 milliamps in them. Let's switch this one on again. I want at half an amp. There we go. Half an amp. I want 8.42. Let's start. Start at 8.4 volts. Measuring a battery unloaded is actually not measuring it. Eh? It's not the same. So let's start. Eh? A thousand milliamp hour later. Two hours later. We're at 5000 milliamp hours and we're still at 7.2 volts. It's incredible how much energy is stored in that little battery. Aha! Here we are! We, at, we are at 5.396. That's 5.4. 5.4 amp hours. Forty-one what hours? Let's write it down. Yeah, it's only six point three four. Six point three, that's three point one. Yeah, that's quite a large discharge, but that's okay. 5.4 and they are 5.7 when they were new they are like two years old old and they have been discharged once or twice way too far so i'm gonna charge him again and then i want to try it again at 6 amp i charged them again and 5.3 amp hour went in again that's somewhat the same as what went out and i'm discharging again at 6 amps so this discharge was 5.87 at 6 amps two hours later charged them again and it was 5.345 let's discharge them while playing It's like driving with electric car or a quadcopter, getting the amperage high, low. Okay, I'm gonna keep on playing with it. One eternity later. I'm pretty close to the drop-off point. 4.686. 